Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout episode 19. After episode 18 uh, ended, I got a um, message from somebody that I have to go talk to him. So, let's go over that way. Um, now, I'm not going to do um, the house always wins. Um, there was a letter, like I said, um, says right here. <clears throat> I wish to speak with you, uh, immediately in regards to important matters. I trust you have learned enough in your travels to know that New Vegas, California Republic, the NCR, is an horrible nation engaged in a benefit mission in the Mo. Jav in um, general and New Vegas in particle. It is in additional a weather nation that well rewards persons who decide themselves to its national intentions whether for reasons patriotical or uh, mad madrical uh, allow me to reserve you that if you have committed any crimes of misindentures against the Republic. It is in my power to redeem conduct of this sort. I, under I stand to receive you at the earliest conventional in my office. I mean, not conventional, uh, convenience in my office at the New Vegas, California Republic Assembly at the southern side of the New Vegas Strip. God bless the New California Republic, Dennis Crocker. All right, let's go meet Dennis Crocker and see what we can do. Let's go to the cell side. We're already over there, so let's continue. And see where we can find him. I'm pretty sure he's in this command post right here. To the left of us. A lot of security guards. Now I think it's this building right here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the military HQ. Let's get over there. See if we can find him. Well, I, he's not in this building, so this must be the jail building. Let's go over to the other building. 
We're walking over to the other building, straight ahead of this building. Let's get over to it and let's enter it. Now, um, what is it? I don't know what the guy looks like. So, honor to speak with you. I hear you've been meeting with Mr. House in the Lucky 38. Hmm. I bet you think you're pretty special, don't you? Special or not, stay out of trouble, and more importantly, stay out of my way. Alrighty, that ain't her. Now... I can't take anything from in there. Yeah, I'm looking for someone's office. Mm -hmm. That ain't it. Back here. Hello. Private Edwards, don't need to talk to you, don't need to talk to you. Where the hell is he? I don't know where he is. Maybe he's over here. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I wonder if this is his. Oh, yep, this is his. I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm listening. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen. And I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. You have my attention. To Go the on. northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? I'll find them and talk to them. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. Goodbye. Alrighty, that's enough for this. Now let's go to another mission and see what we can do. We are going to go to the Silver Rush and do some missions from them. I will see you when I get back to the Silver Rush. We are right outside of the Silver Rush. Uh, we are going to be doing the mission called, um, yeah, let's go take a look. Birds of a Feather. Um, we have to talk to this guy, but first, let me take a look at a couple of things. Alrighty, let's talk to this guy. Welcome to the Sylv. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. Well, no time for pleasantries. I've got your gear right here. Let's see if you can follow instructions. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area while I get your gear ready.
Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? I'll do laser. Good choice. I prefer laser-based weapons myself. But the boss lady says she wants at least one guard using a plasma rifle. Says the lightning bits draw in more people. Whatever. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just assaulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. So now... Settle in. You got some hours left before your shift ends. Now we have to sit here and wait. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this one. Oh, he's lucky. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sorry, sir. But I can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. Oh, you just spawned out of nowhere. Or walked out of nowhere. I don't want no trouble. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. <clears throat> Well, I hope this guy could speed it up the little slow poke. This mission would take me 20 minutes. Howdy! I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Certainly, sir. We need to pat you down for any weapons now, first. Hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? Word? If that's no. the case, then I guess I'll go spend my money elsewhere. Wow, you're a real people person, aren't you? Shut up. I don't have enough ranking points. Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Oh yeah, that, that, that dude right there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Right there. He's walking in.
360. Wee. Sir, don't move. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Eh. Nope. Sorry. You're going to have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you Pretty I got this sure it is. revolver, right? It's company policy. Now, are you going to let, let us search you, or... Damn, I knew this wasn't going to work. Yeah, that ain't going to work either. Let's take everything before anything could happen, so we could... Help me clean this up. ...figure out what was going on. What did I tell you about trying to make off with that gear? Hey! Uh, we're gonna have to redo this mission. I will be right back. Guys, don't worry. Um, technically, I guess you can't walk any further than you could. So, let's redo this mission, and I will meet you guys back over there. I will meet you guys where I just killed that guy, having no choice. I will see you guys right there. Well, we're back to where I was. There's his body. He disappeared. And this time, we didn't have to move the body. So, no issues there. Hey, son. We'll take a look at the letter that the guy had after this. Business has been good lately. Can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I'll be sure to pass Let's along. Good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Just hope for you yet. You're lucky I didn't blow you away. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle. Ah, shut up. Naked now. Gotta love it. I got my t-shirt and my boxers on. You got a problem? Shut up. Move it. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You had a little bit of a hard time following instructions, but didn't do too bad overall. Here's your pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Always. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Alrighty, guys. Now, let's take a look at that letter. So, looks like this guy, um, his family got killed by these Van Graaff people. All these people, somehow, they killed them. So... Let's go and deliver that package, and then we will call that the episode. We are going to follow... ...our marker. If that person didn't have to disturb me, that little... ...cracker box... Duh. Well, now, 
I know to be very cautious. And as we go on this journey, we're going to have to watch out for raiders. To continue on going. Is he actually... I think he's actually in the building. Okay, he's not. It's the game telling me to go through that house to go all the way over here. I wonder what happens if I do this. I really hope I didn't glitch it. Let's wait until morning time. Still telling us to go behind us, but we can't. Nope, this is strange man. I don't get why it's telling me to go all the way down there. Well, you know what I mean, guys. No, I didn't want to do that. Are you the Van Graaff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? It's right uh, here. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Now is he just gonna, he's just gonna stand there. Well, let's get back down to the uh, Van Graffs. I will meet you guys back over at the Silver Rush where they are located. Let's go help someone out. Got him. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Oh, nice. Stim pack. We needed that. Let's take that everything that that guy had. Well, we just saved that guy's life. He's not going to say anything because he thinks we don't deserve it. And I wonder if there's anything going on over here. Nothing going on over there. I will see you guys when I get back to the Van Graffs. Alrighty, we are entering the Silver what? The, I can't speak English. The Silver Rush. I didn't know what I was going to say there. Silver what? It's probably what I was going to say, but I stopped myself there. Now let's talk to her. Welcome back. Did you have news for me? Or are you just here for the guns? Well, it depends on what's insisted. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? Good. Good. Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh, Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. I don't want to talk to you. So... 
You can shut up. Alrighty, guys, this will be the last... Well, this won't be the last episode. This will be the end of the episode. Sorry that I can't speak English at the end of the video. Thank you very much, guys, and have a great day. And please like and subscribe. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and hit the bell notification next to the subscription box. That would really help me out. You'd be notified whenever I upload a new video. If it comes GTA 5, Farming Sim 2015. But something is going to be coming up very, very new on my channel in the next couple of months. So guys, stay tuned and find out what the surprise is to going to be on my channel. You guys will find out in a net in a uh, couple of videos. So guys, if you want to see that surprise, hit that like button and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. Thank you very much and thank you for the 20 subscribers. I hope to have more in um, the future. Thank you very much guys and have a great day. Peace.